On October 7th, 2023, the Cal football team played against Oregon State in an offensive showdown, with the final score being 52-40 Oregon State. This game was part of homecoming weekend, where Cal welcomed alumni and parents, hosting events, rallies, and of course, the football game. Between different events, rallies, and the game, what could be seen at all is the Cal Band. Performing across multiple days and multiple events, their biggest show came during halftime, with the band playing and marching to the songs of Rihanna in front of 35,000 fans. Danielle Payope is the student director of the Cal Band. I spoke with her on the planning and selection of music for each show, alongside the general structure of the Cal Band. A lot of what I do is coordinating um, our performance schedule, so I will have people reach out to the Cal Band saying, hey, I'd like to request a performance, I'll be the one to coordinate that. Um, during the football games, you'll see me conducting on the podium um, during those and uh, we'll do everything with a team of six members. We are called the Musical Activities Committee. We will organize all the musical logistics, so we'll run rehearsals, um, we'll arrange music sometimes. Uh, anything that's like music related is um, my business. The, most of the people who do the marching, that's our stunt committee, that's led by our drum major, Chloe Souter. Um, she'll work with each member of the stunt committee to plan um, the charting for the shows. For this show specifically, um, we have a very specific set of arrangers that come from our alumni, their, our director, um, and sometimes our students. Our last halftime show is actually arranged by students in my committee, which is really cool. And we'll sometimes work with the stunt committee to make sure some of these transitions fit really well with the music. I really love our leadership structure. It's very unique compared to other marching bands because we are one of the only um, student-run bands in the nation. Um, we work through what's called the uh, committee system and each committee is on a different step of the pyramid. So as student director, I am on our executive committee with the drum major, our public relations director, our, um, our director, Matt Sadowski, senior manager and executive secretary. Each member of XCOM leads another committee, and then each single member of those committees leads another committee. So you can see that it's like a pyramid. While planning and selecting the music is one part, there's still the matter of planning and charting the marching performances. I spoke with Chloe Souter, the drum major and head of the stunt committee, and Marianne Hahn, who was responsible for charting the halftime performance on the 7th. I'm the drum major of Cal Band this year, so I'm basically in charge of coordinating the stunt committee, which Marianne is a part of, and then also just basically all of our marching and visual aspects that we put on the field. And I'm a stunt member on our committee. So, um, all of us help her do everything, that, um, and each of us on the stunt committee also uh, charts the halftime show for each home game. With the performance being based on the music of Rihanna, I asked Marianne how each show's theme is selected. In March, around March, yeah, March. Um, we, uh, we have a whole thing called cut tape voting, it's which uh, any band member is open to submit a cut tape and what a cut tape is, is like a collection of songs under a theme and we vote, the whole band votes on which cut tapes they like best and then from there we finalize which seven cut tapes we want for the show. For this un upcoming show, the first thing that I was considering when charting it is the fact that we only have one week to rehearse the show. There are certain techniques um, in our halftime shows that are harder to execute than other techniques, so I tried to put in the most straightforward ones um, in our show, and I also tried to make the show intuitive in terms of the transitions. And finally, I asked Chloe and Marianne what they were most excited for in the upcoming show. Uh, Marianne has put in the Tom Holland Umbrella Dance Block, which I am so grateful to be a part of, so I'm very excited to show that off. I'm also really excited to see the dance block because um, we've been doing rehearsals since last week for the dance block specifically also. While the result of the football game was not what some Cal spectators had hoped for, the Cal band performance still remained, there to entertain spectators week in and week out. With Cal TV News, this is Krishna Sam. I'll see you all soon.